Hi there. Since our last session, I hope you've been inspired and have been using the Dorian mode to create some grooves and bass lines of your own. So, moving on, I'd now like to show you the fifth mode of the major scale, something musicians call the Mixolydian mode. As with our journey into the modes so far, let's continue to base our learning around the modes of the C major scale. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and create the Mixolydian mode, only using the notes from a C major scale. Now, as Dorian was the second mode of the major scale, the Mixolydian mode is what's known as the fifth mode of the major scale. Hopefully, as you remember, all we have to do to construct it is start from the fifth note. So, as we're looking at the modes of the C major scale, we start on the fifth note, which hopefully by now you know to be a G. So starting on a G and only using notes from a C major scale, the notes of a Mixolydian mode are as follows. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and back to G. Hopefully, from what you've learned so far, you realise that as we've started this Mixolydian mode from the note of a G, we'd quite simply and predictably name this mode G Mixolydian. So, for example, if the fifth mode of the C major scale is G Mixolydian, I hope you can see that the fifth mode of a D major scale would be A Mixolydian. A, of course, being the fifth note of D major. To summarise then, Building a mode starting from the fifth note of any major scale will always create a Mixolydian mode. Let's now learn how to play this mode of G Mixolydian on the bass. You'll be pleased to hear that playing this mode is easy, as its shape or pattern on the fingerboard is exactly the same as a major scale, apart from one note. OK. Starting from a G on the E string using your second finger like this, play up as if you were playing a G major scale, but when you get to the sixth note, stop before we continue on. So, we'd have G, A, B, C, D, and our sixth note, E. Now, the only difference between Mixolydian and the major scale, or Ionian mode, is that the seventh note is flattened. So, to us as bass players, this just means moving the note down by one fret. So, as the seventh note of G major would be F sharp, we simply flatten this to give us an F. And then one tone up brings us to an octave G to complete a one octave pattern for G mixolydian. OK. To get this new shape of G Mixolydian under the fingers, let's play it along with the metronome. As always, to fit in with the click, play the root and octave G twice each time you change direction. I'll repeat G Mixolydian up and down three times. After four, one, two, three, four. As always, please remember that this shape or pattern of notes on the fingerboard is movable to any key. For example, to play the mode of A Mixolydian, which if you recall is the fifth mode of a D major scale, just use this shape starting from the note of A, just like this. OK, as with all scales and modes, let's try skipping in thirds through the notes that together make up G Mixolydian. Play along with me as I guide you through the sequence of notes. So going slowly on the way up, we'd have G to B, A to C, B to D, C to E, D to F, E to G, and to round things off musically, we go F, A, G. 
And going back down, we'd have G, E, F, D, E, C, D, B, C, A, B, G, and finishing with A, F, G. Again, practice this for a little while to get it under your fingers, and when you feel comfortable, continue on and we'll play it along with the metronome. OK, let's skip in thirds up and down the G Mixolydian mode twice. As ever, to fit in with the click, hold on to the octave G and low G for twice as long each time you change direction. Ready? After four. One, two, three, four. Having covered how to construct and play the Mixolydian mode on the bass, let's now continue on and take a look at the chord tones, the intervals between them, and the type of chord linked to a Mixolydian mode. So, still using G Mixolydian and taking the chord tones, which are the first, third, fifth, and seventh notes from the sequence, the chord tones of G Mixolydian are G, B, D, and F. Having explained earlier about the flattened seventh being the only difference between Mixolydian and a major scale, hopefully you can see and understand that the first three of these chord tones, in this case the G, B, and D, create a major triad. So, the intervals so far are ones you already recognise. A major third here between the G and B, and a perfect fifth between the G and D. Of course, playing these notes together would in turn create a G major chord, but this time we're adding a flattened seventh, in this case an F, onto the major triad to create another type of extended chord. So what's the name of this new chord, and how does it function in music? OK, the intervals of a root, a major third, a perfect fifth, and a flattened seventh played together will always create a type of chord called a dominant seventh. So in this case, we've created a G dominant seventh. Now, in music theory, this chord is known as a G dominant seventh, but you might be more familiar with seeing it written down as G7. So, another connection we can make here is that the chord tones of a Mixolydian mode create a dominant seventh or seventh chord. Using this connection, we as bass players can directly represent the sound of a seventh chord, in this case a G7, one note at a time by using the mode of G Mixolydian. OK, to finish with, I'd now like to show you how to play a dominant seventh arpeggio. Staying with the chord of G7, the arpeggio, remember, is just the chord tones played in sequence. So on the way up it starts with a major triad, the notes G, B and D, and the last chord tone is the flattened seventh, which is an F played using the second finger. OK, with me, let's now play this G dominant seventh arpeggio along with the metronome. I'll play it up and down three times, and each time remember to play the lowest and highest notes twice each time you change direction. OK, after four, one, two, three, four. So, that's the Mixolydian mode covered, which, remember, is the fifth mode of the major scale. What I'd like you to work on is getting really comfortable with this new mode. 
remember to practice it in all keys by starting on different root notes each time, and have a go at all the exercises we've covered in this session. Also, I'd like you to spend some time creating bass lines of your own, just using the Mixolydian mode. And to help you achieve this, there's a G7 groove for you to play along to at the end of this session. So, enough talking, let's get playing. I'll see you next time. Thank you.